we pay our respects to one of the most loved, most baffling, and most harassed fandoms to have ever existed. Bronies. It passed away suddenly after Lauren Faust left- Oh, no, wait. It was after Twilight Sparkle became an alicor- No, hang on. My sources are telling me it ended when a few big names left the- No. No, I'm, I'm getting an update. It was with the Gen 5 leaks. Oh. No? It was with the announcement of BronyCon ending- Oh, for crying out loud, would you people make up your mind? <laughs> Hello, my fluffs! I'm your friendly fluff dragon, and welcome to my channel, where I review character designs, animation, and art businesses from anywhere and everywhere. If you love character design and want to help a starving artist for free, hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all my character creation tips and tricks, MLP reviews, and more. It's been a question asked since the fandom's birth. Are bronies dying out? Are bronies dying out? Like, what? Are we dinosaurs or dodos or something? Any bad news pops up about the fandom and it's like the rest of the world suddenly looks at us like we're going extinct. Hi! Hello! We're still here. Are you watching this video? Right, so you're still here too. What's with the panic? If you need any reassurance as to how well the fandom is doing, just check out Equestria Amino. Hashtag not sponsored. Posts are being created and featured every couple of minutes. Look at Lightning Bliss's Return of Thunderblight series. Look at Dr. Wolf's Patreon for crying out loud. People still want pony content, even if the fandom has leveled out somewhat. You do know what leveling out means, right? Yup. It means there are openings for new creators like me to step in and rock the show. I shall take over all the fandom with my fluffy awesomeness, and I will be known as the fluffiest, most beloved Brody tuber in all the fandom. Wahahaha. <laughs> oh, and you. I guess you can contribute too. Literally, the most obvious thing you can do for the Brony fandom is to, what do you know, actually watch My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Who'd have thunk it? When was the last time you sat down to watch Twilight Sparkle in the gang without expecting absolute perfection from the writers? I mean, just sit down and enjoy the show. Binge out on old episodes. Geek out over new ones. Make it a party. Put together rainbow-colored popcorn balls. Invite your online or IRL friends over. Grab those fuzzy blankets on a Friday night and just chillax. Our fandom has become so harassed over liking these pastel-colored ponies that we've become afraid of speaking up and showing off our geekery. Stop it! Since when do we let jerks dictate what we can or cannot enjoy? Stand up for yourself. You've got a fan base of millions behind your back. The words of a few or even several people mean absolutely squat. Who knows? Maybe your courage to express your enjoyment of ponies might spark confidence in another closet brony, and the two of you might become best friends. Score! <laughs> Draw ponies, create OCs, create new species, sing pony songs, write pony songs, animate ponies, write pony stories, make pony SFMs, talk about your favorite characters on pony channels like Equestria Amino, again, not sponsored, or YouTube, or Twitter, or Snapchat, or whatever the heck you guys like to use. Ship some ponies, not Apple Dash. Share what episode lessons you are late to. When any big name creator leaves a fandom, it doesn't kill it. It leaves a vacuum for a new creator to build a big name in their place. So snatch up that opportunity. We have so much to look forward to in upcoming episodes, an entire new season, and even leaks of a future generation. We cannot afford to be afraid of change. Change is what brought us Gen 4 and everything that we've loved about the show so far. I loved all of the previous generations, even the cringy ones, but I was floored when Gen 4 hit. Who knows, maybe Gen 5 will bring an even bigger explosion of popularity to the franchise. Think about it. Not all of us are super ridiculously creative, or brave enough to stand up for ourselves, or even able to have hope in the future of this fandom. But, you can still support the creators you love. Watch, like, and share their videos, artwork, fanfics, and music. Subscribe to their channels. Support them on Patreon. Follow their social media accounts. Most of these cost you absolutely nothing, but mean everything to those who put so much hard work and love into what they create. You're more powerful than you think with that little mouse click. But what are your thoughts on the Brony fandom? And what do you think we can do to bring a little more love to what has brought so many of us together? Comment below with the timestamp of your favorite part of this video and tell me why you loved it. 
I want to hear from you. A special thank you goes out to my patrons, Gigabit the Saved Gamer and Hard Brock Life. I couldn't keep creating these videos without your wonderful help and support. If you would like me to list your name here or gain access to patron-exclusive entrepreneur trainings and live streams, as well as 50% off all commissions, merch discounts, and other awesome rewards, click on the link in the description below. Until next time, stay fluffy, my friends.